Hello everybody and welcome back to some more pe- <coughs> I'm dying. Anyways, welcome back to- <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell was that? Anyways, we're jumping back into some more Peglin. I'm disabling Crucible for a bit because the rage it summons within me is deep and primal. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not doing well for me. We'll take the extra stern damage to start us out. But yeah, I'm hoping we can have a bit more of an enjoyable time. Regardless of the fact that it might make the game a bit too easy. I, I want to at least go back to getting a few wins here and there. For at least a little bit to not be so ragey and sad. Because although I know some of you enjoy the, uh, the antics of the rage, it's... It's a little unhealthy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm eventually if this game keeps making me rage the way it has been. So I thought let's just chill out for a little bit. Um, good bomb. You know what, just go for the other ones. There you go. Get whatever money we can. Bomb the hell out of all of you. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's just continue here. We'll go this way to try and go to the shop to the right and then to the elite. Uh, I'd like the Thunderball, I think. Getting to the Thunderball is never easy, though. Uh, I'll, I'll give this a go and just see where we end up going. Honestly, any of these will be fine. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Really? Another one of these? I, I don't know how to actually, like, get the ball to go where I want it to go. And, of course, it didn't go where I wanted it to go at all. Huzzah! The anger is already getting to me. Already getting to me. Oh my goodness, this game. This game summons something within me. Right, got to the shop this time. Um, What we got here? Orb-wise, nothing amazing. My enemy hits you, get blind, wall bounces, contribute. Um, additional refresh. Maybe we just go for the removal here and remove a stern. And then, I don't think we really care where we go here, so we'll just let the game decide for us. Okay. Lots of question marks so far. Um, ooh, what the hell's this? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'd like to go for the extra discard. I don't know how to actually aim where I want to go here. Honestly, again, any of these would be fine, so I'm pretty happy with that. But I want to go for this elite. Where, where do you fire it to go for the elite? Maybe here? Yeah, there you go. That works. Um, we have our Bramble here. Maybe try and get the crit. There you go. Lovely. And we get the bomb as well. It's not going to be enough for a kill, but that is still very, very close. And I like that. Some of the kill there. Really? That crit was pretty terrible. Dude, stop bouncing over this goddamn gap, game. Again, it just feels like it's just bullying me sometimes. At least we get the crit again there. 100 damage through the both of them is pretty good. We can probably do the exact same thing again here and get a kill. There you go. That was not too bad at all. Uh, I think I'm going to go for an upgrade on this bad boy. Um, and then we'll move on. Persist... Let's go with the Persist and we'll try and get rid of some more orbs. If we got another shot coming up anywhere? We unfortunately don't, uh, so that makes that idea a little bit tougher. But we'll go to the question marks, try and get removals. Um, we'll take this as well. Do that. We'll just power on through and see what we can get. But this unfortunately was a shop and I am not in... Anyway, ready, so no removal for us. That's a little bit of a shame there. That was a, a shop that I didn't really intend on uh, coming across, but hey ho, you win some, you lose some. Plus three stones. Hell to the no. Yeah, level two brand ball. Ooh, two bombs there as well. It's everything dead pretty much. Beautiful. We could go for a heal here, but I want to go for the piercing. Because I think we have mole boss, and piercing plus mole boss is pretty good. Uh, definitely take the corn. A lot of healing in that. Right, don't really care where this goes. 
just go for it. Hey, we got the bomb. That's nice. But that's 100 damage on him. Oh, 150 damage on him already. Um, do the same again. See, we've done great damage already here. I say, if we can get the crit, it'd be great, but I'm not going to worry if we didn't. We got it. This, this is going pretty damn well. Damn it, I thought I could hit that crit there, but I can't quite. Eh. We got the bomb. Oh, we got a crit down there as well. Nice, okay. This went well. You are pretty much bested, my good friend. That was a very, very bad hit on my behalf there. We haven't got a, a great deal of health left here, but I don't think it matters. If we can hit this bomb, there you go, we're, we're, we've, we're in for a win. Oh, beating the first boss finally. We'll upgrade our Bram Ball here, um, and I think we'll leave everything else. Um, kinetic, the, the kinetic meteor bit, whatever it's called, is always kind of fun. Obviously, when you hit refreshes, it does stop bouncing, so if we can lower the amount of refreshes on the board, that might be kind of helpful, but we'll see. But yeah, it just keeps us moving a little bit, at least until we hit a refresh. I mean, that was absolutely fantastic. That was not so fantastic. I was hoping for a bomb there, but we get the kill regardless. Um, I think we're just going to leave these as they are for now. Because we've got persist, I'm kind of looking for specific stuff. Map-wise, this is definitely the way we want to go. Um, yeah. Look over here. Hopefully, we don't hit a refresh too early here. We get quite a lot out of this. Even get a crit there. Yeah, this is going to be enough to get a one-shot kill. Beautiful. Now, Bald Orb is probably something we should take with the Persist. Get treasure here as well. I'm going to go to these double shops and do two removals, I think. Shop one. We go for a removal. And then I'm going to try and get some more money between here, but unfortunately we didn't. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It worked out. We got another removal. This shop ended up being kind of worthless, but we got two removals there. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. That's pretty interesting. A little bit of a waste of that one there. I missed the elite, but it's all good. I'm going to leave that guy for now. I'd, I'd like to go to the middle here, so I'll try, but there, there you go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, this is unfortunately orbs, which I don't really want. I'm going to skip that. And then here, it doesn't really matter where we go. Or at least not too much. That's pretty good. Okay, this is going pretty darn well. I'm enjoying this run so far. This is just... Oh, I feel like I can finally chill out a little bit. I feel like I can finally somewhat relax. The game's been bullying me for a while now, and it finally feels like I get my time to shine. Now, unfortunately, if we don't kill in one hit here, which we did, I really fresh it was going to be kind of hard to hit, but it doesn't matter because we did. I'm going to double upgrade here because I don't think we have a shop coming. Oh, Lord. The bounce is going wild. Yeah, we didn't have a shop. Good, good. Keeps trying to make me take our three stones. I, I bloody don't want to. I bloody don't care. But yeah, having, having persist on all of these is great. I mean, if we can get rid of the dag orb or at least upgrade it, that would be pretty good. We're in a pretty good spot at the moment, I think. Just getting a build like this is just so difficult with Crucible. And I might try doing like Crucible, but just like sticking at like level six or something, or like level five, wherever. Just one that feels more comfortable, that that adds a bit of difficulty sort of thing. And our last treasure before our boss here. I think I'm gonna go with the extra bombs because I'd rather not have additional refreshes. Let's go with the piercing first here to get some additional damage going. Now, hopefully we don't hit the refreshes too early here. <laughs> Immediately hits it very, very early. 
good damage on him early on. Now, the, the bouncy bounces are going to be somewhat problematic when there's a big gap in the middle like that. Because it's going to bounce around here and eventually just jump out and zoom over. With the heavier orb, though, it shouldn't matter as much. Now I'm kind of hoping we do get this refresh here. Which is not looking... Like I said, it's not looking too good. But we eventually got it. There you go. That's a pretty That's a pretty good near, near 1,000 damage. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm hoping to get this crit down here. But this is the problem. When you've got this kinetic thing, it just zooms wherever the hell it wants to. The good thing is, we're dealing one damage for every two pegs we hit. And then getting healing on top of that. So it works out pretty well. We do need more crits on the board, though. That would be rather helpful. I'd like to get into this little bomb den over here. We've kind of missed out on a little bit, but it's not always so easy to do that, is it? Now, things are really, really... That was evil, game. That was absolutely evil. It just got it stuck immediately and missed both the crits I was aiming for. That's like... That's just wrong. Shouldn't be allowed to do that. Really trying to get to these bombs, but it's really not... It's not playing with us at all right now. Honestly, I'm not saying we're going to die here, but there is a chance. We're killing this guy rather slowly. We don't have any, like, super high damage orbs. Finally getting that bombs. Feels good. But yeah, it's, it's just we're not hitting crits anywhere near often enough. This big gap at the side here is really scaring me. We're going to end up in that. Okay, we got a refresh though. That's great. But yeah, like getting refreshes here is just not easy. I did not mean to fire that into discard, but I can't discard, I don't think. We've got to hit this crit for this to be worthwhile at all. Otherwise, this is going to be a real... Okay, that's a real sad time. But now, this is actually worth a ton. Like a shit ton. This is probably going to be something that saves our life here. Because we're going to get probably over a thousand damage on this. We might even get a kill off of this orb itself. In fact, I'm pretty sure we definitely will now. Perfect. It was looking a little scary there, but in the end, it wasn't so bad at all. Honestly, let's just get this bad boy fully upgraded. And let's take this as well. Persist, persist orbs is always one that I find a little tricky in the late game, but I, I do generally like it. But it can, it can cause some problems. But when you've got the persist thing plus the kinetic blast, it usually gives you a little bit more leeway in my opinion. Because you can bounce around a lot longer before hitting a refresh, generally. Lovely. And I think now we have a pretty good build. I haven't fought many elites this time around. Um, we'll take that. Go this way. I want to go for this elite. Cause yeah, we haven't fought, fought many elites at all. Ooh. Yes, please. This thing plus the corn. Really, really good. Okay, we did finally hit a refresh there, but we should drop down onto one of these crits. Unfortunately not. Let's go for piercing here. Ah, bugger, that goddamn gap screwed the hell out of us there. And again, okay, that gap is problematic. This guy's only going to get stronger as well. Can we hit that crit, maybe? No, there you go. You got it. Okay, a few red bombs there. Not too bad. Oh god, that gap needs... Our refresh are in such horrible positions, but luckily we have that refresh reload. Okay, this is much better. Don't go down to the left. Okay, we hit that refresh as well, which at least moves it. You are very nearly dead, my good sir. Also, yeah, durable pegs with, with this present thing, real good. A lot more healing availability for us. Got a fully leveled up Jacko, uh, Jack Orb Lantern. Um, instead of existing peg board, the orb will return to the top. It's a pretty low damaging orb, all, all things considered. 
I don't really know if we want that. I I'll be honest, I don't think we do. Um... Yeah, let's go with that, just because of the the, the, the uh, type of stuff we got going on here. I'm going to go right to try and keep on the elite track. It's going to be a bit of a shorter episode, this, I think. Times three maybe, be, maybe has been a little bit too hasty for us. Luckily, our refreshes here are rather hard to hit, so we'll hit them instantly as I say that. Okay, we got this guy pretty easily. And we want to keep on heading this way if we can. Nice. Elite, here we come. Now, this is a slightly annoying uh, level. Because getting to the bombs is going to be problematic. And we kind of... Yeah, you see? We're probably going to take some fat damage here. Okay, good. I managed to clear out most everything there. But yeah, getting to the bombs is a real problem. We only need 50 damage here. I think we should go with a Bramble. There you go. 50 damage easily achieved. Level 3 stern as well. 510, that's actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. I'm gonna take... It sounds really stupid, but I'm gonna take that. Very basic, but having one stern at fully upgraded level with the uh, relic that we have. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, we got this level again. Which is not ideal for us. Luckily, we do have a refresh near the top of the screen this time. Oh, that was that was a perfect bounce there. Wow. Good bomb damage on you. Very good hit damage on you as well there. Love that. Hoping to get that crit before we started bouncing, but was not so lucky. Might be able to get this one. Ah, bugger. Okay, this should seal the deal here. Nope. Not even close. Not even close, baby. Okay, the bombs there should seal the deal as well. Although it will deal some damage to us. Not a lot, though. There you go. Another guy bested. Let's go with that, shall we? I don't really care where I go here, so let's just fire it down this way and hope we don't land in the fire. Another... Uh, there, there, we do have a shop. Let's take the shop. Apple's really good right now. That's decent. And we don't want to remove anything, honestly. And three battles in a row. I didn't even mean to hit a crit there. I just got really lucky. Holy shit. It's a shame this isn't going to do over damage, because this this is going to kill this guy ten times over. Actually, that kind of worked out. That's fine. Again, didn't mean to fire the crit ball there, but it luckily worked out nonetheless. But yeah, that plus 15 maximum HP, invaluable in our situation right now. Beautiful stuff. Does the Bramball have piercing one? Oh, it has overflow, I see. I didn't realise that Bramball got overflow at higher levels. Maybe it always has overflow, I don't remember. Either way, it's good stuff for us. Come on, there you go. <laughs> Stop pissing about, ball. That refresh is in prime position to be hit pretty early on here, but we'll see. Hopefully the black holes don't get seen to too quickly. Hey, that's perfect. That was very, very perfect. Honestly, I'm just going to go for the refresh here to get it out of the way. And then, with this thing having overflow, 
Ah, oh, we hit the refresh early again. Still, good damage. This should kill both. Yeah. We got one more left. Which, don't know if we'll get the kill. No, we won't. The heavy ones are the best because they don't bounce as far. Kind of stick to the orbs a little more. This is a really good build. I did think that Crucible, like, removing Crucible would make the game a bit too easy, but still, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying myself. We're just doing battle by battle by battle, straight into the boss. I hit a refresh immediately there. That was so bad. For some reason, I didn't see that refresh directly above. I'm hoping we can hit a good amount of bombs here. Oh, what are these little dudes? These are definitely new enemies. We hit a refresh early again then. These little bat dudes are, uh, are, are definitely new. Okay, there's a good few bombs there. And we might even kill this guy before the orb leaves the... Yeah, we're gonna kill him. Look, there you go. Dead. Love it when that happens. Right, last battle before the boss. Oh, come on. You could you could have hit that crit, right? Could have hit that little critty crit. That was a terrible one, that. Oh, come on. I'm really unlucky with this. There you go. Finally hit a crit. I thought getting to the boss, that was going to be a right pain in the ass, but we did it pretty much first try. Okay, now this one is one that I'm not particularly so sure about. Like, the bouncing around is going to be pretty interesting. But, I yeah, I was about to say, I don't know how well it's going to actually work for us. Damn it, I was really hoping to hit that crit. There you go, we hit the crit, good. Yes, there you go. We really need to be hitting the refreshes, but the refreshes are really, really hard to hit on purpose right now. Luckily, our healing is more than substantial enough to keep us in the game. Damn it. I need to find a better position to fire at. People have told me the optimal position, but I'm forgetful. But at the minute, these things basically can't hurt me because I'm getting, like, healed up to full after uh, each turn, pretty much every time. Damn it, no crit on that. But the damage still stands. That was terrible. Back up to 59. Only one of you left. Hitting the crits here is pretty vital, but now there's only one guy left. He can't exactly do good damage to me, and there you go. Nice easy victory this time. That has given me the confidence to keep playing this game, and I, I needed that. I really did. I know it was a short episode, but I, I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless, and let me know what you want to see next. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.